Some time back, I was at the Russell Square Park in London. I watched a young a Japanese child feed a family of pigeons. One pigeon in particular spent its time trying to stop the others from nibbling at the biscuits scattered by the Japanese child. The pigeon persistently pecked at its companions, those to its right, those to its left, on and on and on, he harassed his colleagues. As one of the feeding pigeons gobbled the last crumbs, I realized that harassed though they had all been, all the pigeons except the rogue pigeon had eaten. It had missed out on life's charitable opportunities. It was just too busy watching what others were up to, far too busy trying to stop other pigeons from eating. How often do we spend time looking at our neighbor's patch, peering at what is happening within our neighbor's home? The Bible relates the story of Balak, a tribal leader who sent one of his prophets, Bilam, to curse the Israelites. Instead of a cursing, Bilam blessed the Israelites, saying, How goodly are your tents, Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel! Bible commentators asked, why did Bilam specifically refer to the Jews' tents? Commentators tell us that Bilam was struck by the layout of the tents of the children of Israel. Each tent stood at a discreet distance from neighboring tents, and extreme caution was taken to ensure that no tent entrance faced the entrance of another tent. Hence, maximum privacy could be guaranteed to each and every tent, to each and every family. As mankind opted for city life, we were brought into closer proximity to our neighbors. The invaluable privacy to which each of us has a right has been greatly reduced by urban life. This has promoted a greater inquisitiveness coupled by an interest in our neighbor's lifestyle. In so doing, we are greatly impoverished. It is a basic fact of life that personal territory must be restored if we are to harness the sanity of mankind. In the vastly impersonal ambience of this century, personal space is invaluable. The writer and thinker Khalil Gibran prophetically wrote, Let there be spaces in your togetherness. <laughs>